Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock. Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, Vancouver's best auto service experience, 18 time winners of best auto repair in Vancouver as voted by their customers. How are you doing, Bernie? I am doing very well. So we're going to talk about a Ford Edge, an incredibly important change or maintenance item, the cabin air filter. What was going on with this Ford vehicle? Well, the vehicle came to us for a routine maintenance service, and uh, the cabin air filter was dirty uh, due by mileage. The vehicle has about 50,000 kilometers, so we replaced the cabin air filter. So what's the function of a cabin air filter? Well, uh, I mean, it, the name kind of says it all. It, it filters the air that comes into the cabin, meaning the area where you sit in the car. Um, so I was just thinking of just kind of pondering that for a minute going, well, why do we have a cabin air filter? Because if you had a, if you take a car 20 years ago, you'd be hard pressed to find any model that, that, that had a cabin air filter. So that makes me wonder, you know, why, why we have one, but I, I would think, uh, I mean, it makes for a nicer experience having filtered air in the cabin, especially if you're spending an hour commuting through LA traffic and there's a lot of, uh, car exhaust fumes in the air. It helps filter out and stuff like that. It also helps filter out pollens and dust and dirt. So it actually keeps the cabin of your car cleaner overall. Well, I know you don't drive a lot on the freeways here in Vancouver, but the traffic here is actually worse in LA. So that also applies to Vancouver. Yes, it does. You're right. And, and you know what? Almost any major city in probably the world. Yeah. yeah. So is there a simple way to inspect the cabin air filter? Well, on some cars there is, some cars there isn't. Uh, I'm thinking of some European cars where as soon as you pop the hood, you can actually see the cabin air filter sitting right in the back of the hood. So that's a really easy one. Others, uh, you normally have to remove things to inspect them. So on this edge, for instance, the glove box, they, they make it pretty easy on the edge. You have to just pop the glove box uh, down and out of the way, and there's a hatch to get at. And a lot of vehicle manufacturers are like that. There's a few that make it difficult, um, but really the, the way to – deal with the cabin air filters, just replace it on certain intervals, 30 to 50,000 kilometers, say 20 to 30,000 miles, every three, four years, depending on how much you drive. And it also depends on where you drive. If you're just driving, you know, dry kind of city areas, they, they last for quite a while. Whereas if, you, if you're spending a lot of time on dusty, dusty country roads or uh, logging roads, that kind of thing, you're gonna need to change it far more often. I do have a photo here of this cabin air filter. I'm all, I don't know why, we change them a lot. And, Oh, it's like, oh, wow, this is cool. It's, it's dirty. It, so it's kind of it just uh, just something to look at here. So there's our cabin air filter. I mean, just, just for context, I mean, this area here is all full of dirt and dust, and uh, it should be white like the edges here. So when it's new, it's white and clean, and when it gets old, it's dusty and dirty. And we've, we've seen them 10 times worse than this. But uh, anyway, this one's pretty dirty. Definitely, uh, definitely the owner got their money's worth out of this one. Imagine if you're smoking certain substances, it's probably a good idea to change it even more often. I suppose so, but the filter actually doesn't, the filter actually filters outside air and not inside air. So, um, so uh, yes, good, good thought. There's probably other filters you could get for that. <laughs> and how are Ford edges for reliability? Pretty good. Uh, you know, we work on a, a few of them. Uh, no real major problems with them. Uh, I mean, it's a, a fairly new vehicle, although, well, I guess they are getting a little long. This is a 2013 with low mileage, and we've, you know, this, the owner said no problems with this vehicle at all. Quite a nice vehicle, and uh, so far, fairly reliable. So there you go. If you're looking for a service for your Ford vehicle in Vancouver, the guys to see your Pollock Automotive, reach them at 604-327-7112 to book your appointment. You must book ahead. They're busy. Or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com, or our YouTube channel, search for Pollock Automotive Repair. Uh, we have hundreds of videos on there. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.